Right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to uh, my channel, Jack Lee Golf. Uh, today we've got a Ben Ross Evolution R driver. I'm going to do a little bit of testing. I'm going to. I've done some drive all data, and now we're on course. Uh, I'm going to put it up against my Ping G400. Let's see how we get on. Right, so we've got two Bridgestone Torby XS, same balls that Tiger Woods uses. Uh, one's got blue dots on, and the other's just plain with a red line. So I'll be hitting the plain with the red line one with my G400. The blue dot is going to be the Ben Ross one. I'm going to hit two shots on a few different holes, and we'll kind of compare where they go, see if there's any difference or not. First up, Ben Ross. Yeah, don't right. Next up, my G400, low spinning one. Right, let's head up there, see where they go. So we've got Ben Ross here, just in right hand side at Fairway. And we've got, if you zoom in over there, that is ping so very similar in distance both of them were a bit dodgy strike wise but it is early you need to uh, let me off at this early point it round i think so yeah we'll play out a second shot see where it goes because of course there's no point in a good drive if you can't finish all that with it as we normally do so let's see how we get on right 220 left into this par five i've got three iron pretty good Yeah, could be good. Right, uh, ping, G400. We're probably the same distance, just a little bit further left in fairway. So I'm going to same club, still probably about 220. Still a good strike, bit left. Easy kick. Could be good, them two. Right, Ben Ross for birdie. I've left myself a lengthy one here, which I didn't really want to do. Part for Ben Ross. Ping for Birdie. Part for Ping. All square after one. Right, so a bit of information on this driver. This is what Ben Ross is saying. Uh, it's got a compact 450cc head which promotes low spin. So it's a bit more of a player's driver, I think, this one. Uh, improved R flight rail uh, allows users to modify the centre of gravity point. That is this bit there. So you can kind of change it to more draw and fade bias. I've got it on just standard for the time being. Uh, eight point adjustable nozzle. It means you can change the loft from nine degrees to 12. I've currently got this at like 9.75 because that's the closest I could have got it to, um, to my G400. CT response channel increases ball speed resulting in greater distance. That's this thing. And this idea has kind of been, I don't want to say copied, but it's definitely used in other drivers like Titleist and TaylorMade, uh, the main ones that I can remember. Uh, it does come with a stock Mitsubishi Rayon Kuro cage shaft, which I know for most manufacturers as an upgrade is about 200 quid. And to say that this driver retails at 199, it's and the, the components are definitely justifying it being a 200 quid club. And I don't think there's much out there for this price that's that's got as good a components as this. You've got a, a normal lamping grip on it, standard as well. So way it's put together, the feel of it, the quality is very very impressive so far. So let's carry on. Right, so we're on the 15th now, this is a par 4, I'll be doing the same again, just as a bit of a side note, I've changed balls, we've gone back to the trusty vice now, so, blue line for Ben Ross, normal, no line for G400. Ben Ross first. Okay, good one. A little bit toey, but it's a good one. Right, G400.
a bit more push that one, but I think we'll probably find both of them. Right, so this is Ping, green side, only about 20 yard away, green's all the way back up there. Uh, this is Ping, and if we go to the other side, not too far away at all, you will see that Ben Ross is just there. So, again, not much between them. Ping's probably just snuck it for distance, but I did it the Ben Ross out the toe. And I think considering it one of the greatest strikes to get all the way up there is a pretty good effort. Let's play them out. Ping first, a little bit of a fiddly one, this one. Played it quite well, not bad. I'm delighted with that one because that one I shot, I had to like bump an eight iron up the hill. So let's see if we can make any birdies. Right, Ben Ross for birdie. This is a little bit further away. This is about six foot, other one's about four foot. Wowzers. Par, save the par, ping for birdie now. Oh my god. <laughs> right, it's now we're on the 16th, it's still all square. Ben Ross first. A bit drawy, I don't know if it's a bit too far left. It could be good though. G400. That one could be on green. Yeah. So, impressions so far, it's set at 9.75, but I don't know because of the head shape or whatnot, it does look more lofted than mine, and mine's 10 degrees, which is a bit strange. Uh, it does say that it's quite a low spinning driver, but with the dry data that you've either seen before or I'm going to show you now, you'll notice that it does climb a bit more than my G400. I think that's to do with the weight being more further forward in my G400, so it does knock them spin numbers off. Um, would it go in my bag? It could do, it definitely could get in there, but because of like potential maximum distance, the G400 is going to stay in. It's probably a bit less forgiving than the Ben Ross, that is one thing that I will say about it. We've seen a toe strike go just as far as a, a normal kind of good shot, but because the, I know if I'm having a good day and my G400 is coming out at middle, it could go 20 yards further because of that lower spin number, so. Yeah. Right, Ping has found its way into this kind of green side bunker. If you can zoom in on Ben Ross, then Ross is like, what? Two yard off at green? Mm. Yeah, not great. Right, Ben Ross, let's see if we can make a birdie or even chip it in for an eagle. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? You want me to talk to you? Yeah, you can do. Okay. It would be very nice. I'm trying to film. <laughs> I mean, I could try and make my chipping worse, but... Right, so after that dodgy bunker shot, we're struggling to par now with the thing, so let's see if I can improvise a bit and get up and down. That's a part of thing. Ben Ross for birdie. Much improvement needed with the putter, I think. So final thoughts then. Because of like the quality of the components for this driver, you're looking at like 200 quid shaft, lambkin grip, all put together really well. You've got the adjustability on it. I think for 199, it's a bit of a steal really. Uh, for that kind of money you're looking to go into the second hand market but the only problem with the second hand market is you can't get them custom built for you can't get them custom fit and the big thing with Ben Ross is that they offer a great custom fit service and whatever you need whatever spec you need I mean I've got this in extra stiff which is very similar to the driver I've got at minute you can get it tailored to you so yeah Ben Ross 
evolution are for the money, pretty good. So do your jack impression again. I mean, I, I thought that it, it's not like a poster, it's just like a mule reel, it's like a canvas, you know what I mean? And it, it's not in the film that I've like, watched that many times, you know what I mean? Danny, I'm not as a bomber, babe. Yeah, babe, I know, babe. <laughs>